Now, let us go to a presentation. The subject is, as I said, kingdom of heaven and kingdom of God. But today, we are going to look at specifically because what is the root a kingdom of God. In the language, no mozela, zinlinze, oh, give me a good one, mozela, tell me what you're going to do, mozela. Angi bonu tayi kuna ba chole ba mboga giti tayla o makelo ako uti makelo ane o masenga ngenze enlebin o mungwa zile o okezoni jamani okay let's go slide number one please the introduction the term kingdom is one that is not new to anyone. There have been many kingdoms on earth in the past and there still remains a small number of them in the present age. Although this is a common term, it is important to note that the proper understanding of what a kingdom is has been lost over time. This is a problem for believers because their whole lives are meant to revolve around kingdom matters, the kingdom of God, which is their destination. Amen. That is one get to please make sure that you are wide awake because you are expected to teach or to know the subject to a point whereby you are going to be comforted to teach others. Okay. Next slide, please. The kingdom of God and correctively the kingdom of the heavens are the most direct subjects in the earthly ministry of our Lord Jesus Christ. Of course, when our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ walked here on earth, when it was done, the same message he left it to his disciples from the time of um, New, um, yeah, New Testament, yes, if you will, New Testament, Philip, a well-known evangelist, he was talking about what? The kingdom of God. Apostle Paul was talking about the kingdom of God. Even in Acts chapter number one, after Christ's resurrection, he preached of what? The kingdom of God. The whole matter, the subject matter in these two testaments in the Bible, it is about the kingdom, kingdom of God to be more specifically. Okay. To you, it might sound like it's a new phrase because you are familiar with what? A, term, a phrase, kingdom of heaven. But I read as I was studying uh, the Jubilee Bible, the Jubilee Bible, uh, I found this term of which it, fell, it found uh, uh, its space in my heart. The kingdom of the heavens. Wow. And it resulted my spirit and said, no, I'm going to use this term uh, because it explains things more clearly. Kingdom of heaven or the kingdoms of the heavens. I like the way. Next passage, please. From the Old Testament umbra to the New Testament's incandescence, both expresses God's eternal and intent concern humankind. <laughs> Of this material, got a water, got a barber singing, says Gag. Get this long was a flag at this long over a material in God's new man. is not for us, it's for the whole world. It goes normally material in land, a good any corner of the world. Fancy palm is done and soak pal. Okay. From the Old Testament, the Umbra to the New Testament. What is the Umbra? It is an outline of a shape. And the, the outline of the shape, if it's not filled in the palette, the filling of the outline is just what you call the umbra. The incandescence is what projects light. Omangabe night light is a source of light. Omangabe ngemela, it light is shama. It forms a shade on it. It shade on like a hollow equal on it. That's what I'm trying to say here. Yeah. From the Old Testament and the New Testament, both express what God's eternal intent concerning us, 
as human beings. The kingdom of God thought as an all-embracing and inherently in God and from God, which informs the phrase, the kingdom of God. The very phrase, the kingdom of God, embraces all. In a couple of slides, to make it a point that everybody understands which is from the term kingdom of God, which simply means that God is now good again. It's all embracing and inherently good again. In as much kingdom of God embraces everything, you and I have an opportunity for us to inherit this kingdom. Okay? I'm not going to go back People as a presentation, sectors are good to get the, 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 the phrase kingdom of, I mean, the, the phrase just a term kingdom can be understood in three senses in the scripture combined. Because the first of the kingdom is what? Is a territory and the king over it. Territory, it is subject to a king to rule over. Two, a term kingdom speaks of the coming, the future time when Christ is going to come and rule for a thousand years. Thirdly, the term kingdom speaks of power, authority to rule and reign sovereignly. There's nothing physical here. There's nothing visible here. There's nothing tangible. It's more of authority and power, the term kingdom. Okay. So now I've gone past that introduction phase. I'm going deeper now as I show you our son. Next slide. It finds its existence in the same state and nature as God is eternal, immortal, and invisible. The kingdom of God possesses the same nature that God is. We know that God is eternal. God is immortal, and, and God is invisible. So is the case with the phrase, the kingdom of God. If you could look at the sense that it is power, lordship, authority, to rule sovereignly in that sense it is therefore these can be said to be the characteristics of the kingdom of god the kingdom of god is more comprehensive than the kingdom of heavens encompassing all creation in the heavens and in the earth whereas the kingdom of heavens which is within the kingdom of god is heavenly in its origin Precisely, it is descriptively of a type of God's physical rulership in earth through man, which God may assert in earth at a given period. A kingdom of a heaven, its nature of, of, the, of the heavens, or the, its nature, it originated from where? From heaven. Precisely, it's a of a type of God's physical relationship here on earth. But in the next, we're going to understand better in the next couple of slides. Next. It has its object. It has its object, the establishment of God's universal rule in earth. That is to say, it mediates. Its natural is sempiternal, mediatorial, and visible. Okay. I guess, Buga, in nature of this kingdom. It is sempiternal. Something sempiternal is not necessarily mean that it's only eternal, but it is eternal. It's nature. It does not change. There are things that, that are eternal, but they can change in volume. They can change in power. They can change, but something which is simply eternal, something which is eternal and does not change in value, does not change in size, does not change in power. Okay, that's what I'm trying to say here. And the meditorial simply means God can appoint somebody to rule, to rule on his behalf as a mediator. In that sense, God can, can, God can appoint a representative. Such, or serving such? Serving such a purpose of making visible the earthly rule of God, theologically, that speaks of theocracy, which saw God as king of the nation of Israel, according to Isaiah chapter 44, verse 6. Yet, upon the rejection of such an eternal king. Please let us look at Isaiah 44, verse number 6 on the screen. The book of Isaiah, chapter 44, verse 6. Thus says the Lord, the King of Israel, and his Redeemer, the Lord of hosts, I am the first, 
and I am the last. Besides me, there is no God. This very nature of God that gives him legal right. You remember that he created everything in the entire universe. He owns everything. Everything in return that God has created must obey him, must respect him, must submit under him. So that's why through Holy Spirit, through Apostle Paul, Holy, Prophet Isaiah, Holy Spirit speaks to, I mean, through Isaiah to Israel, that is the nation, so they can know who God is and his nature. Next, please bear with me. It was all for good intention and purpose that uh, I had to keep this presentation this short. That's why many references are just quoted. But you are going to, do when you're doing your own study, you have to go and look at all these scripture references. Next. God then made an everlasting covenant visible in nature with his divine choice, David, and his posterity. This is found in 2 Samuel chapter number 7 from verse number 2 to 12. And it's speaking of Christ Jesus to come to the time when God cut over with David. Okay. Um, in the space of your own, you are going to go through those scripture references. Please, let's move on. Thus, the kingdom of the heavens has a close connection with the Israelites and it became their national hope. Acts 1, 6, it was a day where the Lord was about to bid his disciples farewell. They asked him a question, verse number 6. Are you at this time going to restore kingdom to Israel? It was on this basis that everyone followed him while he was still preaching. That you can also find in, in Luke chapter 24, two of his disciples, they're walking from Emmaus to Jerusalem. One of them was being Cleopas, and he appeared without him having to reveal his identity. They met with him, they saw him, they entered him with our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ and asked them, what are you talking about? They told are you a stranger in this place? Don't know, have you never heard of this prophet? Jesus Christ of Nazareth was good, this and that. And... They said, we were hoping that it was going to be the one who was going to restore or redeem Israel. In other words, they thought it was the Messiah who came to fulfill all the Messiah prophecies in the Old Testament. So this is what I'm trying to say here. Next, please. This earthly rule of God, however, predates the divine choice, David. God first saw it in Adam, but it was deceitfully usurped from him by the serpent in the Garden of Eden through his disobedience. We all know the account that took place in the Garden of Eden. First man and first woman. Uh, the serpent happened to be clothed or happened to be in the body of a certain was was in the body of a serpent and uh, uh, beguiled and uh, even if did the same to her husband. Though lost, it was then prognosticated by the Lord as king of the Israelites through the kingdom of Israel in the Davidic covenant, and this seems to be as in 2 Samuel chapter 7. The term prognosticated, it's, it means more than just to prophesy or to predict. It simply means to tell in details, step by step, what the end is going to be. That's why I chose this phrase more than just to prophesy. This is what that aspect of God that we have to know and understand about him. He does not project by predicting uh, that that is going to happen. He is behind for it, behind the happening of it, step by step, day by day, up until it happens. Imagine Christ came after how many years? After, after God has predicted his coming, when he said to a woman, the seed of a woman is going to do what? Going to crush the head. He was prophesying. But God was behind the whole plan, the details. Step by step, day by day, that's why. I chose uh, this term. I know it, this term is familiar. 
the medical field prognosis when people it put some diagnosis amen <laughs> okay it's almost the same but now in, in a special term now glory to the lamp okay <laughs> okay this is what god did he planned it he prophesied it he predicted it and was behind it up until the end resulted is seen next slide please this concept however considers a close reading of the Genesis chapter 1 verse 28 before the fall of man and Genesis chapter 9 verse 1 after the fall of man and the same concept grounds itself in its appearance in the New Testament as seen in the temptation of the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth where the same serpent now Satan according to Matthew chapter 4 verse 7 to 8 and Luke chapter 4 verse 5 to 7 appears again to deceive on the basis of if thou be the son of God all I'm trying to say here is that which took place in the Garden of Eden, it was echoed in Matthew 4 and Luke 4 when it is now tempted who? The Son of God. Tempted who? Son of God, Jesus Christ. Why? If we were to pay careful attention, Luke chapter 3, verse number 38, gives us a list of the of, 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 of Adam. And at the end it says Adam was what? the son of God. And at the waters of baptism, we find the Christ submitting under authority of his uh, forerunner, John the Baptist, and to, to be baptized, he wanted to submit. And then the father, looking at the obedience of his son, he spoke from heaven and said, this is my son. Look at uh, 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 centuries apart from Adam, all the way to the birth of Jesus Christ. Christ was a second man in the flesh for God to confer them as what? Sons of God. So in that sense, it is equating. Christ had to take what? An office of Adam. So every area that first Adam was tempted, Christ himself as the last Adam had to be subject to those tests and temptations. Is it clear? Because... First Corinthians 15 is who? He is the last Adam. Okay. Let's go critical. This then finds focus in both the Testaments as predicted by the prophets in the Old and in the New. God himself in flesh proclaims it is at hand. Matthew chapter 3 verse 2. Meaning the kingdom of the heavens is what? Is at hand. John the Baptist preached, proclaimed the same. When our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ started his ministry, he proclaimed the same. The kingdom of heaven is at hand. I believe in our last gathering, I did break everything down, how everything worked together from the kingdom of heaven to the kingdom of God. If you want to know more, go on your YouTube. Okay. This is one, uh, I, prom I promise you, this one tool that the Lord uses so much to reach the world, YouTube platform. I'm not saying this because it's a TPC. No, I'm not saying that because even myself, I, I do clean, I do feed from the vessels that God uses in the platform. Yeah, what is that? Hey, I'm Katie Pilamansin. Oh, pastor Zabtelis. Young mangas. Yeah, you shall open up. I'm going to say, 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 I'm Uti u na non posso blabla bangala na kam u no sa pegel na ngia non posso no shanga sangala hey gibong mo ingo dae bantu ang tu mis mo tu bang mo ingo why I make mention of people is because when about keta u submit by ni sa ba shuranis yes wala di ding sa sangala yes ogi auto hey. Kalene Pretora, O Pastor 
was to Kalana, he ought to be on getting out of court. Kalana, yes, oh, Pastor Mjano, no postal, untooling, and hey, wait a seventh morning, my dears. The service and Ben. Give one joke to a second one, the compound, Gurungo to make a good Elijah, who must go and anoint. Was it what? Jehu as a, as a king, best anointer. Elisha in his stead, so that whosoever escaped the sword of Jehu, Elisha is gonna get. If I see, ah, ko punyo galamanju, sa kambara is ala punyo. A ko force doctor is opuju galay, young ya kenya ya, but ena matimon sa ibo ng kosya so Christ. But what we know, what is a card so called by Bailey, what he goes on Sunday, says Bailey. Ah, see, is nothing else but to prepare his church for hard times that are coming ahead. Even our daily lives, our characters are, are being tested now and again at workplaces, in the nearby neighborhood. Christ is fully formed. Good process of Christ with Jesus. Can't remember what it was it last year or year before. Uban on a device and a matitolomical box. Titolomical box. Or apocryphal box. Unai. Okay. Ngela, gingikela, ufunde, ovule, second Maccabees, chapter number seven from verse one. What was from the um, the name of? Let it device was from I eat Polonius. I'm a in course, ever boss at a benze in the which is against whom Teton couldn't go, Uta Badly in Uta Badly Pork. Lelena. It came to pass also that seven brethren with their mother were taken and compelled by the king against the law to taste swine's flesh and were tormented with scourges and whips. But one of them that spake first said thus, Why wouldst thou ask or learn of us? We are ready to die rather than to transgress the laws of our fathers. See, see, me, sell, or go to see, fe, go no go to see, that is long, long, long. The Kumbri case, got Daniel with the district Hebrew boys, go to our cotam, but family, Lelela, Lana, oh, mama, Ninga, the good servant. Then the king, being in rage, commanded pans and cauldrons to be made hot. Ini amapani nani na mapotwe ugo takbaselum lilo laba bang delenzo ba kumbisa gal. Kobe. Which, for with being heated, he commanded to cut out the tongue of him that spake first, and to cut off the outmost parts of his body, the rest of his brethren and his mother looking on. Uti wenamu unomlemu kulu. Before piece by Now, when he was thus maimed in all his members, uh -huh. he commanded him, being yet alive, to be brought to the fire and to be fried in the pan. And as. Oh, Nando's. Fried in the pan. Taba, you are crazy, guys. I will feel it. I don't know. To a daughter, I'm not going to frying pan. 
Bagwenza ini iswa switch manch. And as the vapor of the pan was for a good space dispersed, they exhorted one another with the mother to die manfully, saying thus. Iswa iswa iswa. Lo uyasha. Ipunga le brai. It called it vapor. It called it again now. Oh, mama, oh, tige. My sons. Kumanala ba 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 six months. My son. Brace yourselves. Die like a man. Ah, I should. Oh, in Saying thus, the Lord God looketh upon us, and in truth had comfort in us, as Moses in his song, which witnessed to their faces, declared, saying, And he shall be comforted in his servants. Unat. Through which is a total of What you could cause the delight. Jump. So when the first was dead after this manner, they brought the second to making a mocking stock. And when they had pulled off the skin of his head with the hair, they asked him, Would thou eat before thou be punished throughout every member of thy body? Now, we spill as Benjamin Abam Kundanga, Basig scalp, Bashibu the skin scalp with a manual zake, Quavella in skull, but it was what like a match. What's it? But he answered in his own language and said, No. I was right. What did it? What did never? Gaga went so up. Wherefore, he also received the next torment in order as the former did. And when, he were, and when he was at the last gasp, he said, Thou like a fury takest us out of this present life, but the king of the world shall rise up, who have died for his laws unto everlasting life. Out of the already Old Testament of the resurrection. E temba labo lig resurrection. What I in course when a man to a man, I'm a queer man going and who see the bill we took them bill. God is so full of food. Somebody in course seeking a packet. I guess we are a similar poem. This book it gives us this chapter gives the account of each and every one of those seven sons about the end there. Why in course young tender garden? In course it is a yeko in the body bundle zoamba a pump on pay Christ. What from the old testament has been prepared. Adding his saints to face a future. Ogo shugu tige. A planning course just was this. Ogo tige. As betray kindness, bazo imparta kule imene generation. If we book a report, no man no me pala through Paul and the like. Baku me ngati ge lento iso enza ge immediately ngan go bufuni banda linga luzum kondo ogo tige. This was going to the church. The word of God is sent to us to prepare us. Good say Fesana Nani, no bunzi mota bangut si tandwe kanganan. As far back as the old testament, his message was for us. Daniel chapter number 10, 11, and 12 is for us. In Gos Nege Esho, go Matthew 24 from verse 14 and 15. Oh go to ge. If you see the permission of this session that you're talking about. Uh, but the prophet Daniel, let the reader understand. So, excuse me, so we have to go back to Daniel. Daniel is our email to prepare us. Now, you tell me how many churches today are about from Daniel? How many churches are about this about the coming time and times? They produce a lot of bantu. Abazot. Ah, the queer gabi. Sing a she. Uncle Bill. Sing a swing. When a old as well log. Uso was as a gumago made into peco. Lay in cosage as we have to be prepared for. Hey, let's go back to presentation. 
Now, to at least in both Testaments, the kingdom of God and the kingdom of heavens is God's focused subject, relatively shaping the coming of Christ, the last Adam, divinely purposed to have both kingdoms upon his shoulders as it was with the first Adam. Now, listen, both Old and New Testament with these two kingdoms. In course, that is how I focus up because he wanted to give us an understanding of our position as he prepared what? The coming of Jesus Christ. In a message of the church, the body of Christ must be centered around the second coming of Jesus Christ and everything that goes with it. Guess what? So, unga unga zenzele pans, unga zenzele pans. Search the scriptures as for me like given you. Search the scriptures and invest on what on your soul. Ngangawa, nobody would ever take off your soul. Uwe gupen. Christ, the last Adam, divinely purposed to have both kingdoms kingdom of God and the kingdom of the heavens on his shoulders as it was in the beginning with the first Adam. Next please. In person, Christ did advocate that this was his pivotal heart of his divine covenants in earth as the son of man. Mark chapter 2 verse 10, John chapter 5 verse 27, as predicted in Daniel chapter 2 verse 34 to 35, Daniel chapter 7 verse 13 to 14. Of course, a casual read of the Holy Scriptures can easily lead into fallacy, one hardly becoming aware of the evidence of this, of this distinct significance that these phrases are not epigesis, an additional explanation. Epigesis simply means it's an additional information that is like this sort of when um, I will make this statement basically to me, in other words, ngit. Are you with me? That is epigesis. Because exegesis alone simply means to unpack the content of the text which is before you. Guess what? That's what it means. This was not an epigesis, meaning another explanation. That's what I mean. Move on. In other words, and as much as both phrases are used by the synoptic gospel authors in presenting the same teachings of the Lord Jesus Christ, they shouldn't be thought to mean the same. Both phrases, what? The kingdom of God and the kingdom of heaven. Many scholars, they think that it means one and the same thing. Why? Because you find that this account in Luke it matches the account in Matthew, where Matthew used the kingdom of heaven, that account, and over here, Luke uh, used the phrase the kingdom of God. So now a reader can easily fall into making a, a mistake and think that no, maybe kingdom of God, kingdom of heaven is one of the same thing. What makes a difference here is the audience. The audience. In Matthew, Matthew's audience is what? Is Jewish nation. A Jewish nation. Let me take it at all a little bit. Matthew chapter number 10. The Lord calls his 12 disciples from verse 1 through verse number 5. anyone? Let's go there. Verse number 5. The book of Matthew chapter 10 verse 5. These 12 Jesus sent out and commanded them saying, do not go into the way of the Gentiles, and do not enter a city of the Samaritans, but go rather to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Clear instruction. It's not a time for Gentiles yet, even though the gospel is intended to go throughout the world. Hence, Romans 1, 16 says, For I'm not ashamed of the gospel of God, for the power of God and to salvation. Jews first, and then what? Gentiles, guess what, in that order. So, first disciples were sent to the Israelites, not the Gentiles, at that stage. Hence it says, say to them, the kingdom of what? Not of God, of heaven is what? Is at hand. Why? Because it has been prophesied by many prophets of the Old Testament, the restoration of the coming back of the kingdom of heaven. That was lost when? When Joshua came, what did what? Disobey God. 
and all his seed were what? Were cursed. So they disqualified any seed of David to come all the way to fulfill the scripture to sit on the throne. That's when these two kingdoms left. A kingdom of God was on earth and it left first when Adam sinned. And the kingdom of, of heaven was left. The very monarchy of Israel under the house of David was the vehicle of carrying this kingdom of heaven. Up until Joshua came sin and then the kingdom of heaven went back. So now it was in God's purpose and plan for him to do what? To restore these two kingdoms. First kingdom of God that left, later kingdom of heaven that left. So when God now have to restore the two, he had to begin with the one that left last, which is what? The kingdom of heaven. Hence now, he speaks to Israel concerning what the kingdom of heaven, not the kingdom of God. Up until the time is fulfilled, only the kingdom of God was going to be preached. Even in Matthew 15, here comes the search of a woman, the daughter is sick, and she cries after the Lord, said, heal my child. Christ says, I was not sent, but to the lost sheep of Israel. Is it true? Yes, for that time, the period of time, he had to, he had to be Israel first, and later, the world, the Gentiles. Yes, again. This is John, how puts it, John 1, 29. He said, this is the Lamb of God who came to take away what? The sins of the world. And when God cut cover with Abraham, he says, all the families of the world are going to be blessed through you. Not only the Jews, but for the time when Christ was on earth, he had to focus on who? The Jews. Hence, he was speaking of what? Kingdom of heaven. So now the same phrase, when he look quotes it now. Luke's audience is the Gentiles. Remember, even the very disciples, they were, what? They were Jews, taken from the Jews, converted to become Christ's disciples. Later, they were going to become what? A church. So if you can understand that, we'll never going to be confused. There's these two phrases are different. What we need to do we have to look at the audience. Who, who is he talking to? If it's a Jews, fine. That's why he used this term. Matthew uses this term 33 times, kingdom of heaven, but the kingdom of God, he used it five times. So Matthew was not confused in his writing or in his teaching. He knew exactly what he was saying, writing. In reference to the open world, he speaks of the kingdom of God. But it's when, he, when he speaks to the Jews, he speaks of the kingdom of heavens. Yes, guess what? Okay. The next slide, please. The subject at hand, however, is on the horizon and purview of the writing of Matthew, since he treats both phrases distinctively. Within the first six Look at the Matthew, I'm trying to make it Matthew treat these subjects distinctly. He does not mix things all up. Move on, please. Within the first six chapters, we note from the commencement of the earthly ministry of our Lord Jesus that Matthew makes such an absolute distinction of both phrases as expressed. Mm. The book of Matthew, chapter 4, verse 7. From that time, Jesus began to preach and to say, Repent, for the kingdom of the heavens is at hand. J-U-B is a jubilee translation of the Bible. You can read it as well. It is safe to read, to use a jubilee. It, its writers or authors, they all come from a Jewish background. So advantage here, you have a perspective of the interpreters having privilege of having background of Jewish as well as modern scholarship. Yes, what? The Jubilee. Yeah, Elim Clement told you about the Jubilee 2000. Pastor Mayo, you must have the collection of these Bibles. Do you have the collection? Jubilee Bible? Oh, okay. Why is it so much? From the time Jesus began to preach, to say, repent. Why? 
for the kingdom of the heavens. You see how different it is from your normal, ordinary translations. It says the kingdom of heaven and not of the heavens, but the heaven. Because even though in Greek it is plural. Okay. Next. As it hand as it, it is close by. Next, please. This sermon was preached only to the Jews first by John the Baptist, the Lord Jesus, and the Twelve Apostles. The distinction, on the other hand, is expressed in these words, Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. The same Matthew, when the sixth chapter, the third verse, now he switches everything. He says what? We must seek first what? The kingdom of God, not the kingdom of the heavens. Why? He knows that these disciples who was taken from the Jewish, they are being converted to the church now. He's going to the church. The church, it does not matter whether we are a Jew or Gentile. Guess what? That's why he speaks in this manner. That you need to seek what? The kingdom of God first. Contrary, these words are directed to his disciples or followers as he was laying as he was laying kingdom principles, and the same later became his church. Are we not disciples? Yes, what about three pairs? Are we not Christ's disciples? Which he was speaking to us. It might be a different generation, but we are the same disciples. And he told them that go ye and make disciples. He didn't tell them that to go and make church, make believers, or make what else. So go and make disciples. Next. We note that both phrases are used by the Lord to. We note that both phrases are used by the Lord to address different audiences. To the Jews, He addresses them within the context of the kingdom of the heavens, whereas to the already followers of Him, the kingdom of God is employed. The emphasis here is both phrases are used by the Lord to address different audiences, as I was explaining. The Jews, they understood kingdom of the heavens, and disciples, regardless of background of the group, to us it is the kingdom of God. Next. Then we should not deduce and then deduce that these two phrases are treated as identical. At no point would they be looked at as one and the same or identical because they are different. Nor by any means are these phrases epizegetic, espies. The fact that Matthew employs the phrases the kingdom of the heavens whilst Mark and Luke uses the phrases the kingdom of God when presenting the same teachings of the Lord Jesus. I've covered that, the ground. Next, please. Not far from it, a seldom used by John the Apostle is the phrase kingdom of God in relation with being born again in order to see and enter the same. Okay. Why the ring? No man says here in the way in the melon, but we miss a man. Among the synopsis gospel, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John work around these terms kingdom of God and kingdom of heaven, and Mark and Luke focus the kingdom of God. But John uses the term differently. He differently uses the term kingdom of God. It is open. Why? Because either we see it or we enter to this kingdom. Who wants to see this kingdom? Who wants to see this kingdom? Or who wants to... Who wants to see this kingdom? Or who wants to see this kingdom? Who wants to see this kingdom? 
Game, 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 wolf's clothes in a sheep's skin. Game, come on, I'll get zing, I'll push your out. I'll pin your foot. Who wants to see the kingdom of God? Okay? Now, who wants to enter the kingdom of God? If that's the case, this message is for you. Here, you're going to receive a road map either to what? To see, as in to perceive and understand so that you can enjoy the benefits of this kingdom of God and how to enter into this kingdom. How to enter into this power because we understand this is the power authority to rule and reign. Why stop with Satan? Oh my God, Satan. I, when Sebezulun again is ruined, Genesis 1 1, in the being God created heavens and earth, which was anything that's created, there was a time where it did not exist. Anything created, the time where it did not exist. So now, how come God can say, get saved so that you can get into heaven? Yet, when God created men, He said, let us make men after our image, after let us let them have what? Dominion. And he placed them here on earth, have dominion. So we are created to do what? To rule sovereignly with God in his power that is called what? Kingdom of God, which is all encompassing. Let's move on. Then both phrases populate the gospel mostly, the gospels according to Matthew. Whilst Paul the Apostle speaks mostly of the kingdom of God from time to time in his epistles, namely in 1 Corinthians, Galatians, Ephesians, this comprehensive observation of the use of these phrases informs the study. Such an aim is to make stark clear this distinction. This is our purpose. Let us go. Let's get started now. All and all of this time, we were just laying foundation. Let's go. Doing so given sign. Doing so, given significance, is the gospel of the Lord Jesus of Nazareth, according to Matthew, the apostle, because he treats both phrases comprehensively and distinctively. As I said earlier on, only Matthew and Matthew alone treat these phrases differently. Okay, this is now we, we are going to look at how Mark structures his writing. Okay? Let's go. Panoramically, the study will 1. Distinguish both phrases, the kingdom of God and the kingdom of the heavens, exhaustively. Underline. In our future studies, we're not going to leave even a single verse that is not going to be untouched or unturned with the intention of getting a clear and full understanding of these two kingdoms. This is going to be an exhaustive study. Doesn't matter, it can take us a whole year, it's okay. But as long as the end of the day, we're going to receive the real thing, which is the true deal, I promise you. This is going to change the way you look at life and the way you look at the plan of salvation. You are destined for the kingdom of God, not for you to enter into heaven, but to rule and reign sovereign with God. Yes, we're gonna. Point number two. And show how both kingdoms will be united in Christ, the last Adam, at the end of this present age. Amen. The second point is to show how both kingdoms, both the kingdom of God and the kingdom of heaven, will be in future united in Christ as the last Adam at the end of what? At this present age. Right from the beginning, Genesis 1, when God said the kids men after image and the likeness, both the kingdom of God and the kingdom of heaven was resting on the shoulders of first Adam. And everything happened that took place. Man in flesh lost. God's intention is to restore back that which God gave to men from the beginning. Man was not destined to stay and live in heaven. Okay, 
ya si bizelo guti ge si otule zuri sla bade ngelos si zunge zini sla so bokos a agu kezwin log agu kezwin log la 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 here come a question what told me how that in the book of Revelation chapter seven at also verse number nine but eh uh, get to uchi after this I saw much of standing. Yeah, clothed in, in, in linen, white linen, standing before what? I don't know what. Carrying what? Palm branches, ain't it? What, what those palm branches signify? It's a symbol. La banda basuganga, their souls under the altar. Bakichi me bite to the field of heaven. Batata matlanfu, babuya now. Bazoma before the throne. John said, when the fifth seal was opened, he saw the same souls upon the altar. They were crying. How long, O oh Lord? And the answer was what? The divine answer was what? They were told they must wait a little bit long until their brethren are going to die the same way. And they were given what? These white robes. Souls cannot put on clothes. Souls. Can a soul carry a robe? I was like, <laughs> But it was wait. The wait was as long as the sixth seal was broken. When the souls, according to First Corinthians, which chapter number fifteen, from verse number twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, talking about the three resurrection, the first fruit of Jesus, Jesus Christ, and the second one, it will take place. What when Christ's second coming will be taking place? That's going to be another resurrection at his coming. Who are, who are going to be raised? Those who are in Christ Jesus. Yes, we're going to. First Thessalonians chapter number 4, verse 16. For the Lord himself has from heaven with the, with the shout of the Lord, with the voice of the archangel, with the trumpet call of God. And the dead in Christ are going to be raised first. We are alive and remain. We're going to be caught up together with them in the what? Meaning, before anybody can leave this, this surface of earth, there's somebody going must be raised from the dead first. So those souls, when Christ comes, when they release them, they are going to be united with their bodies. As they're taken up, they are going to be clothed with these white robes. A branch of a palm is a symbol of what? Of the fulfillment of the feast. Among the seven feasts that God said to Israel must observe, which is what? The Feast of the Tabernacles. Guess what? So that palm branch is it's a symbol of what? Of the fulfillment of that feast of the tabernacle. In what sense? We are our souls are going to tabernacle in the new body. <laughs> is it clear? That's what it means. Two, those people, multitude that John writes about, they didn't stay there forever. They're going to be there forever. After Christ will be presenting them, and they are going to give glory according to Revelation 7, what Babe to Mesabetin. Bebonga. After that, what's going to happen? We are going to join the marriage feast of the Lamb because we are invited guests. After that, we are going to be rewarded. After that, back to business. Ngege ash o second Timothy chapter two of verse number about twelve and thirteen what if we enjoy we are going to what? Reign with him. When I reign with him, oh him, oh Jesus Christ. That's what salvation is all about. It's a plan to restore man back uh, to his original position of what rulership, not having dominion. How 
Tobias Inko site I tate in Bali I call Bali la Akshot in Bali Zulwin I inko site I tate in gross yai la 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 umundu umundu ingelos ingelos a kupambana la yo salo umundu na ingo se salo ingelos Kupel, a cook shinch out, go to Mosu Bengal listening. Kai Colot. How Savide so on a bag mugella baginige, Tatania be it was a leash. O can you go by it was after five minutes of death or ten minutes or hour a week? Can you go by it was? Kusho umaba gaso kuma malo zama kusho kuna maaba malo z. Let God be true and all men what? Let's listen what God says. Period. Ha, sapel, sabongos. Zvela kuhute boi. Angas bango go fire fronti ngaba koka nje. Hello, mommy, miss, I go to Hey, to mark on the lines, copy. Can't lands win a packet tree. Oh, five, 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 Next, please. Slide number 16, please. The above mentioned points with the above mentioned points with B, the above mentioned points will be elucidated by doing a close study of Matthew chapter 6, verse 33 and 4, verse 17. Kumbula, Matthew 63, seek ye what? The kingdom of God. Not the kingdom of heaven, the kingdom of God and his righteousness. Let's move on. It's considering the writings of other biblical authors from both the Old and New Testaments. To begin with is the kingdom of God. However, it suffices to define the term kingdom first, which in turn will be an aid in understanding the subject at hand. I use a different angle to approach understanding of the term kingdom. The first one, it was too basic. This one is somewhat complex. I want you to look at it and grasp it and make sure that you walk out of this place, you understand it. Guess what again? But seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. God is a person. He has righteousness. In order for me to benefit, I have to know what is a kingdom? And how to go about it in me seeking it. The term to seek simply means to pursue. Like in the Old Testament, this term, Greek term is used here. It is equivalent to the term that is used in the book of Psalm. When it says, like a deer pendant for, so pendant after you. Guess what? That should be in your mind. But now, how do I seek? How do I run passionately? How do I pursue this kingdom? One, two. What is God's righteousness and how do I pursue his righteousness? The formula is very simple. I have to do these two things. Seek his kingdom and, what? and his righteousness. And all these things will be added to what things from verse 25? These are um, needs of hierarchy, natural speaking. Eat, food, drink, water, clothes, meaning the needs of the physical body. Holy Spirit says, the Lord says, He says, you haven't ever known know that you, you do need these things. Let's go there quickly. The scripture. Matthew 25. Matthew 6, verse 25. The book of Matthew, chapter 6, verse 25. Therefore, I say to you, 
Do not worry about your life, what you'll eat or what you'll drink, nor about your body, what you'll put on. Is not life more than food and the body more than clothing? Uh, let us do verse 26, 5, 25, 25, 25. Please, let me break this down. I say to you, don't worry about your what? Surprising, I don't know why the translators chose to use life. Because here, the original text there is a suke, simply means soul. Better translate is soul. Life, which is the very soul. I don't know why this time left, left can be very confusing. Mm-hmm. But soul, don't worry. Um, don't worry about your life, what you will eat, what you will drink, and what your body, your body, what you will put on. Is not life, is not solely more important than food, body, and what? And clothing. The Lord is switching our thinking from the physical, from the visible, from the temporal to the eternal one. Your soul is one of things that God has created to be. In a form of immortal. Your soul exists. It will never go away. Yes, we're going to die someday. Your body from your, it's going to be from your body. Your soul is going to go to some place to be judged. Your soul. It's a different material. It's a mortal part of your existence. So the Lord is saying, let us shift from focusing and worrying about physical things. Let us look at spiritual things. Your soul. He knows that many of us make decisions to take care of our, of our needs of our body at the expense of the very soul. We neglect the needs of the soul and focus what your body needs. If you are to drink water, does your soul benefit? I can't hear you. If you are to eat physical food, does your body benefit? Rather, your soul does benefit on your body. Your body has a lifespan. There are people who invest time, energy, and everything working for something to satisfy, to take care of the physical body at the expense of the very soul. At times, we do things through our bodies that are going to place us in a predicament, a position whereby you're going to be, your soul is going to be charged. Your soul is going to end up in the lake that pains with stuff. Why? Because your body did something which is according to the will of God, according to the uh, word of God, and then voila, your soul is going to end up in hell, not your body. The Lord wants us to change the way we think, the way we look at things. Let us look at verse number 30. Jump to verse number 30. Now if God so clothes the grass of the field, which today is, and tomorrow is thrown into the oven, will he not much more clothe you, O you of little faith? Zosomun. Come in, come on, wait, you get a mod, wait, get in, wait, Gun was got good to get. Get a hole up and that's what she put him on. Yeah, when we are driven more by the needs of the physical body more than the soul. 
We don't care about the souls. Verse 31, please. Therefore, do not worry, saying, What shall we eat? Or what shall we drink? Or what shall we wear? Or oh, should put your faith in who? Look, look at the next verse. For all these things the Gentiles seek, for your heavenly Father knows that you need all these things. Again, because the Gentiles, other translation, but the pagans. What is a pagan? Somebody who does not know God. Somebody who does not believe in God. Somebody who does have a relationship with God. That's a pagan. Spin the food. The Gentiles seek after these things. Their whole lives, they are driven by meeting the needs of the body. Because we're going to eat, we're going to drink, we're going to wear, we're going to stay. People who do not know God, they are driven by this. They are motivated by this. They live to satisfy the body. Kyang to sag. Uma, from here, April Pity, Bezoti, God is going to bless you. I bale all the material things. Manji, is it possible to Ngabe si Shunyazo Bahete in? Anybody who's going to address you at the nine day of the good come and saw a city, this and that. Benzum yonke into a physical. I guess so. Remember, is after this, pagans run or seek for these things. Offering in tight spell. project building an altar amakama Ama tight, ama kama. Ba shota yon kinda. Kota ba kwe church management. Sneke begi mkuru kutu. Kau, gyan pele si des, yes? Gyan pele si des. Agu ting tin, ang funu patlu, kotu age, hai. Nungom, hambo yotu nungom. We are going to manch. But focus on the one going to manch. You're going to manch. You're going to manch. You're going to manch. You're going to manch. The son of the house is concerned about the father's business, ain't it? When I would have said, I would I would hold your hole. 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 I would Where's my dad? I'm getting tired. I'm angry. Papa, go fill up my car. I'm going to. I'm so tired. I'm so busy. 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 In the end, I got a certain into a good ticket at delays into how a shop is a cool morning. Well, a shop a 
me what I outle Baba, what I bind you, Satan. <laughs> no, honestly, 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 honestly. Think about it. Think about it, honestly. I will look at the branch. I will look at the branch. Zongi Tungazao is the village headquarters. I will look at the branch. Does not contribute enough. The branch which is sustained. That's not a good thing. No, we are renting. We are not a position whereby we can have our own properties. And then you figure we are both saying. We say like I say, and not be as near Europa. Europa, it in course, you rob me in tithes and offerings. And I'm coming Europa, come as a lender. Here's a simple definition of his silly example. Conomunt, go, 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 And the book of Revelation is said about those who are in this glorious city who come out outside are what? Are dogs. Homongers. Thieves. Outside. One come to the in the go to the park to spend the group. You belong to the kingdom of God, but you don't lift even a finger to support the kingdom of God. You are being supporting the kingdom of Satan. Oh, when prophet. <laughs> In all seriousness, we can't all the time stop here and school about money be faithful my child and offering. We are not we I hate to talk about money. I don't like it. I don't like it. Apostle Paul put it this way. I'm not asking for you to help, but I, I'm asking this so it can be accredited to you on your account. Na bandio sebe shangi limu pata lizoki zabulo abanjo moya bangene manjin baki te benza yonke into sebe kai tili so ay wabu se akulu semsha ben kote utini support my kingdom so ay lembu so bu support aga wana hexa songo yuta wana ish kubanga ngas ya was guys kaj kuzo all the time you claim to build the kingdom of God. Yet we support the kingdom of Satan. In goes ngagi ishu gutige. Where your heart is, that's where you what? Where is your treasure? <laughs> that's where your heart is. That's where your heart is. That's where your heart is. What a viva, sata de viva. Kusho wa God, I know. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> God, you where? Jesus, I told you to follow me. When I, Satan, I was a Satan. I was. As I show sure another minister, some years back, looking at, looking at it, it makes sense. Okay. I guess we need to go and eat if we should be more with friends. Best in the hundred round. This was your last moment. Thousands. So the, the, the minimum notes if a man notes no mama sent. He knew when he came to Jesus Christ, he found a man sent. God, when? How big a motive? How big a tradition? How big a level of God? Glory to Jesus! I found a new change to Jesus. Number one, you change. I'm going to go for the new share pass. Let me tell you, 
best hope to get into his kingdom. It was a big deal. It was a big deal. Now, Mr. Ben, I'm a bookkeeper. Now, as soon as I come, I'm a bookkeeper. Then goes issue. The books were open. Another book was. Could you call it? I'm a finance books. Then, call it Zulu. I'm a finance wait. Yes, we are. Who can I bank a lagash? Ah, you say this scale. Shh, say your pants. I'm very scared. Ngani? Oh, Satan. Always say. Yeah, but but <laughs> After all these things, gentle are sick. Or we should learn to stop. Who's Kale when you go to when? Are you a heathen or are you the son of God? Look, Pleasure, what you mean? Give Protaza in, mean a brother in, give Funa in, mean. Okay? We see, we see in V, what in verse number 33. It's a very good one. You want to go back to the church and go back to the church. That's your fault. Thing I can say like that's your fault. That's your fault. It was like I'm. What for this is C E V. I walk. Okay. Sapa zama zama zaje. Okay, let's go again. Wait to see if you. Wait to see if you. Okay, on us. I'll see from the best side, Lord. The book of Matthew, chapter 6, verse 32 in the CEV. Only people who don't know God are always worrying about such when things. When you vote only? Only people who do not know God are always worrying about such things. Yes. Only people who don't know God are worried about these things. Slide, please, please. Slide number 16, please. The term kingdom is Hebrew, mamlaka. In Greek, is basilia. Both mean realm of dominion, whilst melek in Hebrew and basileus in Greek means rulership, kingship, and lordship. This speaks That's of... Why us Remains that's why I said today I want us to look at it from a distance perspective with angle so it can have a better understanding. Okay. Studying, I discovered that there are in Hebrew eight terms that speaks or can be translated to a term kingdom. All of them are different. But this one, Mamlakha, is the one that you're going to focus on that is equivalent to. A bas Elia in Greek. Melak in Hebrew is equivalent to Basilius, simply means rulership, kingship, and lordship. Let's move on, Kel. This speaks of one who exerts royal power and authority over a domain which can be perceived as terrestrial realm or an immaterial realm. Also such is exerted upon or over what can be named subjects of the kingdom. Now, in reference to rulership, kingship, or lordship, it's a royal power authority over a domain. The domain that can be perceived as what? As terrestrial realm or immaterial realm. Terrestrial or immaterial. Material or immaterial. That should be noted. Also, such exerted upon over what can be named 
subject of the kingdom. Next slide, please. From the above explanation, let us draw, let us first draw the following aspects. One who exerts royal power and authority over. A kingdom can be perceived as a terrestrial realm or an immaterial realm. Derived from the above mentioned is this. A kingdom can be terrestrial or A kingdom can be terrestrial, meaning terra firma, physical, or immaterial. Those two natures. Guess what? In nature of its existence. Moreover, a king needs to exist first to speak of a kingdom, whereas a king and a kingdom may exist without the existence of its subject. So, it is the case with the kingdom of God. On this two aspect that we looked at, we are speaking of an individual a person, let us use the term king, who exerts real power and authority over his subject. Point, the next point. It, a kingdom can be perceived as a terrestrial realm or a material. Here we have a person and what? And a domain. This domain can be a material or can be material. Get clearly. Let's move in. So derived from the above mentioned, a kingdom can be, please notice, terrestrial or immaterial in nature. Kingdom in Gaba immaterial, no mingaba any physical or material. Moreover, a king. Moreover, a king needs to exist before we can speak of a kingdom. A king needs to exist. A king and a kingdom may exist without the existence of a subject. In what sense? Unkulunkulu unamandla. Whether there is creation or no creation, go to Namanth. Ani, Ogdala, Bessi Abus. Lamanth, our fiki, Ogut Abus, Umanga Bessacon in Dalo. A mantha velecon, go baga shinjun kunungun. A mantha obusa, I now, before Indas obusa becon. Guess what? That is the kingdom of God that we are talking about. Of which God wants to share this power for you to rule and reign with Him. Lamanda, why now? Before in the Libyan, before it's got Sibicon, Lamanda, now, I'll be on a kingdom of God. Yes, okay. I'm pinned the foot. In Charles, I'm going to be a bit sin this. I'm going to sing in Zuluini. Gani, ngoba koko eskati izulu ingeko. Izulu li ngaye ndalo. Kota wen against in this utige. Woza ubu said na even nga pesu kwa izulu. Na koko kali ngobi izulu. La li ngeko la dalo. Na koko koko ngeko. Wena uzo unamu. Nyo manda ukutubu se. Nungkulu nkulu. Over everything that he created. Even heaven itself. Jobu satanya. Atuwe no samizu mgeni zulu nwe. In the Bayer, yeah, cheer up in the Lalla carefully. Lane go back his room about a full and full and swung and singing, singing, singing. About Fanabas or eight years of a pang. Lalla, Lalla, Minagaman. If from the beginning it was about the kingdom, before Christ came, it was about the kingdom. Even when he came, it was about the kingdom. Even after the resurrection, Acts 1, verse number 3, it was about the kingdom. And after he is ascended to heaven, and those who took over, they preach about the kingdom. That was a question that I had. And then here, I found the answer. Studying the, 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 the church history and everything. 
indaba yonagala uma kufiga umuntu obizwa ngokuthi ke o Constantine the Great wafe ngesikhathi umbuso namandla kwakwa ini Roman Empire uma ngabe efike u Constantine ofike alwe abuse attacked the west because there was east and west the kingdom of uh, uh, Ro, 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 Roman rather Roman Empire was divided into two uh, western kingdom and, and, and eastern kingdom and then over time was the alwa ewelo no maximus owai pete the eastern kingdom was a i told you millimus of what a roman empire yeah what ye umangab said umbosu Ibanda was going through persecution as early as 1864 when Nero, that's one who started in a place of the church all around officially in the Roman kingdom. Roman, 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 Roman Empire, rather. Umangabe ngapa as early as Acts chapter number three, it kala a persecution. It was it didn't cover the entire Roman Empire. It was localized only in Jerusalem. To fulfill the Lord's prophecy, Umangabe etige, you shall be my witnesses where in Jerusalem, Judea, in Samaria, then to the other most part of the earth. That the prophecy had to be fulfilled. Little did they know that God was going to light fire under their feet. So as they escaped for their lives from Jerusalem to Judea, they went preaching about this kingdom. Guess what? That's how the Lord's pro uh, pro prophetic message was fulfilled. They were not preaching about this kingdom, about this king. Guess what? To a point whereby, who asked chapter, chapter, chapter number 17, Oh, Paul, be figure a eh, 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 Macedonia, and some people stood up eh, trouble for them. Baba, but Baba Bamba, Baba Bob, Buffer upon and Linga Jason, a Baku Paul, and the Babu Jason now. Why is so much of my said court? But again, these people who turn the world upside down, they're here to our place too. But in, but there is another king. His name is Jesus. Baze basho, but la bandu bafuza tini zito tina ama Roman citizen esnya vuyo kufunza zon. He's a bless. Ufuza but another kingdom and another king. Go back the kingdom. As early as that stage, they're not allowed to be taught about any other king. Go back muni ukurungulu abo or Caesar. So it could be a person of the church. Devil is a liar. Thank you. Who can speak of another kingdom or another king while you are being taken off of the present kingdom and the king? In the secular world, get a look. In the secular world, while the was still in a management position in the secular world, such identifier umuntu or in king or is shoshof. I mean, who stare people up, whatever, tools down, you, you name it. Sim identify. Must identify. Sim ni promotion. Ni promotion, yabo. Some promoter. Either was supervisor my in. Man, you must have. That's like a man. Where's the promoter? Is a part of management. Guess what? Cook to a yin, some faggy queen blue yin. Go to a woman to Clafoni Queen. Yes, well. So the same tactic the devil used through Banu Constantine. The church leadership, the Clafoni Damnand, the Bayas, but they so long, six to pay. Finally, we made it. We arrived. So they had to be the change for the message. The focus must not be about the king of this kingdom. The message must not be about the kingdom. But the message must be what? The meeting of material needs. The needs of the burden. No longer about the kingdom. That's why everything changed. Everything changed from year 313 
gradually, slowly, by the time the church finished, yeah, yeah, four, one, two, the church space was completely different. It's like very one shit for social media to church. As per church of the months, the pure months, it's true. But to pick up my faith to face the challenges the devil throw at me. That is why the devil does not want anybody to understand the word of the kingdom. The devil does not have a problem if you can get all excited, hop around, jump, shout, devil doesn't have a problem. But don't you dare and understand the word of the kingdom. That's why the church lost its power. Without the word of God, there's no the church has no power at all. Yes, well. It was O oh, Pope. Pope, uh, not just Benedict, man, but in 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 his own compound, la la la. Pope one, I get full of the answer, man. Pope Pope was assigned to go to get a couple of mass schemes to raise funds for what Roman Catholicism. That will be the change. If you want to have a couple of them, I get you go to get. As Dorothy Mali, Squirrel, and my mama, my mama, say, Oh, you're the ten. Yes, yes, yes. And then, what's the one? What's the one? Let's go back in Mali. Yeah, you are in St. Peter's Square, Basilica. Say, come out, this one guy from Germany, not to Martin Luther. What a look how wealthy the church has become. Never again will the churches say, silver and gold we don't have. Oh, you don't know what a church many. Oh, neither the church will be say in the name of Jesus, rise up and walk. Guess what? God, God, what the church focuses on power that is given by money and influence, we're going to lose the power of the word of God and Holy Spirit. That what went wrong. Now the Lord is in the process of now taking his church back to its rightful position of power and authority, but that will not happen unless the truth is restored first, which empowers the church. Three minutes, without quoting any scripture, Nabalaba, in course is restoring all this. Gag it had to be restored if ever is ling ek. In a cog in course, it is a message for the church and to the church. It is about the king and his kingdom. Lono za ozo shakazam tlai buy. Manje. We must be prepared so that we can enter into that kingdom and rule and reign with him. I Oguti Sezungas Eta Subukos Shawosa no Alleluia Icolont. Lele Lak, Lele Unakabangi, Wun Yoba Soba celebrator for twenty years. Get out of glory, it's been smooth. Nothing has been smooth whatsoever, both internally and externally. Ngapanding bizong or certain cob bang bang on abating the yoga. 
Bang on a batting and my devil worshipper. A batting goes at a new orb, but it doesn't flow. It cuts your uncle and to your body. It is the devil that to stop the real thing. We'll put the time the rest to place of power and, and authority. But ah, uh, yeah, body general. The devil always try. La la la. Volume two. Ama chicks or satan. Our subs volume one. Gagasa sevens. He wanted to make it, a, make it a point to go together. We cross over to volume two. See by nine and forty. What target the party goes about business, but then the member legally leadership, but sala volume one, back of volume two. Guess what? In course, the lady in course, I gaze, yeah, shall surprised by anything. Ut who I got second by my mind. No. He knew everything. He knows that now he's going to raise. He knows that who's going to replace. He knows what he wants to do. And come hell or high waters, what's going to happen? Ugu me say kabla unkulu unkulu kwenye mwezi wa sabantu uba 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 sisi mna de TFPC e basi moin e basho kongo kumna de lugi abote jikale kwenye mwezi wa tingu mene yabo baba date mwezi wa date pel if anyone would think of trying to stop the TFPC he must know that he is attempting the mission impossible. Oh, bro, can you do more? I can say, "Go home, Ben Abolabat." Guess what? Guess what? Yeah. La la la. To know or to 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 say to go to get. Ogi pe indima inzela. Are you right or wrong? Look at your haters. The more haters they are, I can't remember writing in Pella. Gi hap gain sent and run course. Gan, e by Pelletin, the first murder that took place. Uba noaf. E blow in. Embre lani. Inta don't go don't go. Guess what? When I even want to know good, am I the right place? Hambagathi, look at your haters. Always be eating because Jesus Christ so eating. There are two gates, ain't it? There's what? A narrow one and what? A narrow one leads to? It's your class spell. A narrow one leads to? The wide one leads to? How many people find the narrow one? How many people now did the white one? Oh, what's up with my majority to know? Sinking in. Umbo Sora Satan is suffering. Yes, what I'm born when I was born in Gungic Talanch. Umbo Satan suffering. Gan, Goba. He has tried all that he could, but he failed.